We were charged by the president for looking at the ethics of neuroscience research and also the ethical implications. We focused on three things that are really hot issues and important issues. The capacity of subjects to consent to research, neuroscience implications for the law, and cognitive enhancement or cognitive modification through the findings and the drugs that have effects on our brains. So when we speak about enhancement of function, there are fundamental ethical issues. Is it ethical to enhance our neural capabilities, not only our cognitive capabilities, but perhaps our behaviors, our motor function, our sensory function? How do we assess the safety and effectiveness of possible measures? How do we deploy safe and effective measures in a just fashion. When it comes to applying neuroscience to the law and to legal processes, we want to make sure that it's done in a way that's fair and just. And what this commission has added to the conversation is heightened concerns and heightened awareness of the ways in which using a neuroscience information about a particular individual can raise questions about access to medical records and uh, using information in a way that's not uh, phony or fake or exaggerated. Many of the diseases that affect the brain right, um, uh, affect the ability of the person to actually be able to give consent. I mean, so typically they're considered a vulnerable population are, and are excluded from clinical trials. There are important ethical issues in terms of how do you enroll them ethically in research? How do you make uh, enrollment decisions for them? Who makes them and that kind of thing? How do you assess their capacity to con consent? We, we are at a remarkable moment in the history of neuroscience. We have the availability of incredible new tools to understand how we behave, how we think, how we remember, how we interact in the environment. The president understood and highlighted this opportunity in the Brain Initiative. And as a bioethics commission, we have a wonderful responsibility to help guide the implementation of new neuroscience discoveries for the benefit of all of us.